This is the iZip Express. It's a really unique bike. I've been keeping my eye out for it for quite a while. It's been around since like 2012, 2013, and it was originally designed specifically for the Los Angeles Police Department in the United States. They were, um, you know, considering e-bikes as a way to help their officers get around town and more efficiently and reach higher top speeds. Uh, and Curry Technologies built this for them using some experimental technologies at the time that, that really come together nicely and create just a super powerful bike. Um, this is a speed pedelec, so it actually reaches like 28 miles per hour. At the time, there weren't too many bikes like that. Um, there's no throttle, so you have to pedal uh, in order to activate that speed, but the way that it delivers it is it's just, it's kind of unlike anything I've seen on other electric bikes. So there isn't a hub motor, and there isn't really a traditional mid-drive motor at the bottom bracket. Instead, there's a motor like right in this casing right here. Um, and it's 750 watts. That's, that's intense. That's the upper legal limit in the United States. And it pulls this belt drive, and that contributes to your pedaling power as a rider. So both of those, uh, both of those inputs are turning this sort of variable speed um, rear, I, I don't know, like axle, it's, it's sort of a rear hub, I guess. Um, each, each one can, can activate power, and uh, the way they did that is just phenomenal, and I know this has been through rigorous testing by the LAPD, and uh, there are several other design components here that um, at first make you kind of curious, like why is there a V-brake on the back when there's this enormous, you know, hydraulic disc on the front. You know, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just have two disc brakes? Well, it's because the LAPD um, would sometimes have to like slide out the rear end um, and put the bike between them and a perpetrator perhaps, and these rim brakes can withstand that kind of force, whereas a disc brake, it wouldn't, it, it might um, run into issues. So that is a 180 millimeter disc there, hydraulic, got elixir levers. Um, also like a nice through axle, so that's extra sturdy right there on the front, front wheel. Uh, it's like semi-narrow wheel set here, which is kind of interesting, um, but very efficient. And they needed these to ride, you know, like eight hour days, eight hour shifts. And so in order to achieve that, they've got an enormous battery pack here. It's like 36 volts, 20 amp hours. Like most normal electric bikes these days, um, this is 2014, by the way. Uh, most normal electric bikes, have, they have like 36 volt, 10 amp hours. So this is effectively double that. And by only using pedal assist, they're able to extend the range significantly because it requires human input. So before I get too, too much further, um, the tires here, 26 by 1.75, pre-slimed. So if you do get a flat, you kind of spin the tire, spin the wheel, and, and the goo in there kind of fills any holes and you can pump it up a little bit and keep going for a while. So that's cool. Quick release on the rear wheel, quick release on the front wheel. It's gonna make maintenance a lot easier than a bike that has like a hub where you have to actually use traditional tools to, to change that rear wheel. So this is all, again, the idea is like to make this thing efficient and rugged. Got this awesome rear rack right here that's super sturdy. It's kind of reinforced here in a couple places. And uh, that's gonna allow the police to you know, carry around extra gear and panniers or whatever with, with water or any of that kind of stuff. You'll notice there really isn't room for a water bottle cage anywhere in the main triangle. And they've got this unique sort of semi-cantilever frame going on here, with these two big top bars. And it's neat because it allows you to see through to the control panel on this bike. You know, there, there isn't like a, a little display. So you really don't know how fast you're going and you, you don't know precisely how much battery uh, capacity is left. You use this, which I'll, I'll get to in a minute. It's got a nice suspension fork in the front. Uh, it's an air shock. This bike weighs about 62 pounds total, which considering the battery size, you know, is, is not bad. And also considering when they, when they designed this, you know, that 2012, 2013 time period, they do still sell this. They've lowered the price substantially. And, you know, you can buy this as a member of the public and a speed pedelec on roads and stuff is, is legal um, in the United States. Now it's like about $2,800. Uh, I, I should mention that the way that this senses your input, I've mentioned pedal assist several times, it doesn't use a cadence sensor, it doesn't use a torque sensor, it kind of uses this servo 
activated speed sensor. So there's like a little motor in here and as you turn the cranks, it physically turns the servo and that sends a signal um, back to, to the motor to, to give you power. And that's very unique. I've never seen that on other electric bikes. Um, and I think it's just, it's more precise and it, it feels pretty responsive uh, when, when you ride it. And so, I don't know, just another sort of interesting point to, to call out um, with this bike here. I've got a couple more specs to read off. So it does come in two sizes. They've got like a small medium, which is 46 centimeters, and a large extra large, which is 50 centimeters. That's what I'm on right now, the large extra large. And it fits me all right. You know, I'm like 5'9 myself. And uh, gosh, it's got Shimano components set. Um, right over here, SRAM X7. Okay, maybe the Shimano is the... Now, okay, I guess this one has SRAM X7. I th they might have done two runs. Oh, okay, there we go. Shimano cranks right there. That's the front derailleur. So that's the other thing. This is a 27-speed electric bike, um, which is cool. You've got a lot of range there for just pedaling and getting around, climbing hills or going faster yourself. And, you, you know, it is nice to have those extra speeds in order to reach those that higher 27, 28-mile-per-hour top speed that the bike offers. The suspension fork is a RockShox Argyle RC. And let's see here. Guess. Oh, yeah, the motor is uh, it's Curry uh, Evo Drive. That's what they called this at the time. It's kind of interesting. And I mentioned it offers 96 Newton meters of peak torque output with 42 Newton meters nominal. Um, and that's, you know, 40 is kind of what most electric bikes these days, again, late 2014 offer. The Bosch system offers 60. So this is probably like the torquiest electric bike I've ever reviewed to date. And again, 750 watts of power, 62 pounds total. And then you can see that the battery locks to the frame right there and there's kind of like a quick release lever on the, on the bottom of the down tube here. Just really interesting overall. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, pick up the kickstand and, and activate this. To get it going, you press this middle button here and the lights go around in a circle. Right now we're in the highest level of assist, level five. If you wanna go down, you press the down arrow. You can see now it's like, okay, two, okay, one. You know, So you, you kind of cycle through. I'm gonna take it back up to the highest level so you can hear the motor and see it performing at its, at its peak. I, I really like how well balanced this is. And this is sort of a semi-transparent casing. I don't know if you can see, but I can see inside there there's like you know, wires and battery stuff going on and plugs, and you can see like a flashing light right in there. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, it keeps the weight um, low and center on the frame. Uh, really, really well balanced, and it, it also enables that quick release stuff I was talking about before. So let's hop on. Got these kind of basic platform pedals here, like aluminum with plastic and, and rubber. Okay, I think I'm just about all set. <laughs> you can hear it responding. Definitely kicks in and it gives you quite a boost. Woo! And even though you still hear it kind of, you know, cooling off there when I stop pedaling, I immediately feel it release, like it's not still pushing me forward. Feels like I'm on a fighter jet or something. Very interesting. There is a little bit of um, kind of like bob. If I really push fast and hard, it turns that servo and the motor responds sort of in kind. You know, it's a little bit like accelerate, accelerate. You know, it's a little, but I'm also holding a camera, you know, trying to film this. Be nice if I had a cycle computer tell me how fast I'm going, but I'm definitely getting up there. It's a it's a unique bike, and at that price, you know, that, I think it was like 2,800 bucks. Um, you know, if you're someone who has a long way to go and you you want that speed pedelec and you appreciate the balance and all that kind of stuff, uh, this is a, it's a unique bike.
it's very, uh, uh, I don't know, just it's like thoughtfully designed, very purposefully designed, uh, but it is a little bit heavier, keep that in mind. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So that's the iZip Express for the full write-up on this with specs and pictures. I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com.